Therapeutic diets. How our bodies use food. Nutrition is the process of taking in food and using it. The process of nutrition involves ingestion, digestion, absorption, metabolism. Metabolism provides energy measured in units called kilocalories, more commonly known as calories. The unit used to measure energy is a calorie. Nutrients. Food taken into our body is broken down into essential elements called nutrients. Nutrients provide us with energy. Nutrients help our bodies to function properly. Types of nutrients. Nutrients that supply energy are carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Nutrients that regulate the body processes include vitamins, minerals, and water. A balanced diet is a diet that provides the, our bodies with balanced amounts of essential nutrients. The tools to achieve a balanced diet include my plate and nutrition food labels. My plate. My plate is designed to remind people to eat healthfully. It uses place settings to illustrate food groups, grains, vegetables, fruits, milk, meat, and beans. My plate suggestions. To build a healthy plate, cut back on foods high in solid fats, added sugars, and salt. Eat the right amount of calories to match your activity. Be physically active. My plate for older adults. My plate for older adults focuses on age-related requirements. A decreased calorie intake, increased or the same amount of protein, increased fluids, and different forms of foods, including softer and easier to chew foods. Question one, there are different types of nutrients that the body needs. Which of the following helps regulate a body's process? Carbohydrates, B water, C fats, D protein. The answer is water forms the basis of fluid. There are six general types of nutrients. Three of them are water, minerals, and vitamins, which help regulate the body processes, and the other three, carbohydrates, proteins, and fat, supply the energy. Respecting the individual. Factors affecting food choices. Religion. For instance, practicing Catholics do not eat meat during Lent. Culture and geography, finances, kitchen skills, individual tastes, appetite, swallowing problems, for instance, dysphagia, disability, and impaired cognitive function. Respecting the individual. The nurse completes a dietary assessment to find out as much as possible about the patient's or resident's eating habits likes and dislikes. The nurse, the dietitian, and the nursing assistant work together. OBRA requires meals to meet the individual nutritional needs of each resident, and they need to be presented in an appealing way. Special diets. Types of special diets. Regular house, clear liquid, full liquid, mechanical pureed, low cholesterol, sodium restricted diet, carbohydrate controlled diet for a diabetic. Nutritional supplements are used to supply extra calories or protein in addition to a special diet. For instance, supplements may be served in the form of a flavor shake or drink. It is necessary that nursing assistants are familiar with the special diets in order for staff to recognize if a food item has been placed on the individual's plate in error. For instance, if a patient is on a sodium-free diet, the nurse's choice should recognize that a salt packet should not be on the plate. Question two. To help ensure the safety of hot foods, the USDA requires that hot foods be kept at an internal temperature of at least what until being served? A, 120, B, 130, C, 140, and D, 150. The answer is C140. The United States Department of Agriculture requires that hot foods be cooked to a safe internal temperature to be kept at least 140 degrees until being served. Meal time. Importance of meal time. Measures to set a relaxed overall atmosphere and stimulate the appetite. Providing companionship, providing assistance as needed. Presentation of food to stimulate the appetite. 
offering small portions of favorite foods, offering a clean, fresh mouth, a comfortable position, providing aids if used by the person, providing pleasant conversation. A person with dementia may need to be reminded to chew and swallow. Preparing for mealtime. The nursing assistant must allow time to prepare and complete early morning or afternoon care. Assist with toileting, assist with basic hygiene, assist the person to the dining room and position the person for eating. Provide a pleasant environment. Assisting with meals. A clock face is used to reference the location of food on the tray for people with poor eyesight. Feeding dependent patients and residents. Involve the person in the process as much as possible. Sit down and talk to the person. Use a spoon, not a fork, and fill it only about one third full. Give the person time to chew and swallow each bite. Never rush the person. Offer liquids frequently between bites. If a client does not eat a certain food, the nurse's assistant should ask and talk with the individual about why he did not eat the food. Measuring and recording food intake. There's various methods used. Recording the portion of total meal that was consumed. Afterwards, informing the nurse if the patient or resident eats less than 70% of his or her meal. Recording the percentage of each food eaten. Question three, when helping someone to eat, it is best to wait until all solid food has been eaten before offering a drink so that you don't ruin their appetite. True or false? Answer false. When feeding a resident or patient, offer liquids frequently between bites. Providing fluids and nutrition. Alternate methods, intravenous therapy. Alternate methods, internal nutrition. A nasal gastric tube, nasal intestinal tube, gastrostomy tube, jejunostomy tube, a percutaneous endoscopic gastrostomy peg tube. Alternate methods, total parental nutrition, TPN, hyperalimentation, fluids and hydration. Fluid balance, when the amount of fluid taken into the body equals the amount of fluid that leaves the body, a state of balance occurs. Fluid balance is important for health. Dehydration. Dehydration occurs when there is too little fluid in the body. Causes can include diarrhea, vomiting, hemorrhage, severe burns, excessive sweating, not drinking enough fluids. Edema. Edema occurs when there is too much fluid in the body. Causes can include kidney disease and heart disease. Offering fluids. Encourage fluid intake unless otherwise ordered. People are more likely to drink fluids that taste good and that are served at the proper temperature. Keep the water pitcher filled with ice. Offer fluids frequently to people who are bed bound, confused, or taking pain medications. A person who is not allowed to have fluid at all is said to be on NPO status, where they are not allowed water nor ice no food, no candy, and no gum. Measuring and recording intake and output. The intake and output INO flow sheet is used to record. 30 milliliters is equal to one ounce. Calculate the intake by estimating or measuring leftover fluids with a graduate and subtracting that number from the amount of fluids that were on the tray to begin with. Question four, your resident drank an eight ounce cup of coffee for breakfast. What would you record on the INO sheet? A, 30 milliliters, B, 100, C, 175, or D, 240 milliliters? Answer, D, 240 milliliters. If one ounce equals 30 milliliters, then eight ounces times 30 will equal 240. The end.